Every year, hundreds of thousands of people die from sudden cardiac arrest. Most incidents occur at home, but cardiac arrest can happen anywhere, at work, while traveling, or during recreation. The quick actions of laypersons to recognize a life-threatening condition, call 911, and provide CPR are important in saving the life of a victim of sudden cardiac arrest. Early defibrillation by lay rescuers using an automated external defibrillator, or AED, has been proven to save lives. The next program segments show how the heart works, the common elements among all AEDs, how to operate an AED, special situations when using an AED, and how to properly maintain an AED. The heart is a muscle with four hollow chambers that pumps blood throughout the body. An electrical conduction system coordinates its regular rhythmic action. Complications from heart disease or from sudden events, like electrocution, may disrupt the body's electrical signals to the heart. The result is abnormal heart rhythms, disrupted circulation, and potential cardiac arrest. After 8 to 10 minutes of arrested circulation and abnormal rhythm, Damage may be so extensive that survival is not possible. The two most common abnormal heart rhythms are ventricular fibrillation, or V-fib, and ventricular tachycardia, or VTAC. Ventricular fibrillation is chaotic, uncoordinated electrical activity. V-fib stops blood circulation because the heart cannot pump any blood. Ventricular tachycardia means the heart beats too fast. VTAC stops blood circulation because the heart cannot pump effectively. Because both V-fib and VTAC respond to defibrillation, the earlier an AED can be used, the greater the chance a victim will survive. Automated external defibrillators, AEDs, are electronic devices that analyze heart rhythm, determine the need to shock, and deliver a shock through cables and pads placed on the chest. AEDs vary from basic units that lay people can operate to those with advanced features helpful to professional rescuers. AEDs have common features, including a power button to turn the unit on and off, cables and electrode pads to attach to the victim, Capacity to analyze heart rhythm. Capacity to deliver a shock when needed. Voice prompts to guide users through the procedure. Shock delivered. It is now safe to touch the patient. And the capacity to store and retrieve data. Some devices are semi-automatic, requiring the rescuer to push a button to administer a shock while others are fully automated and can deliver the shock without rescuer assistance. Do not touch patient. Analyzing heart rhythm. Please wait. AEDs are simple to operate. With voice prompts as a guide, using an AED is easy. Press red flashing button to deliver shock. Voice prompts tell you each step to perform. You don't need to remember the process. Shock delivered. It is now safe to touch the patient. Regardless of AED make or model, all units follow the same basic steps. Turn on the device. Apply electrode pads to the victim's bare, dry chest. Analyze the heart rhythm. And deliver a shock if indicated. Before using an AED, determine if the victim is unresponsive and not breathing. Then perform CPR until an AED is available. Once an AED arrives, turn on the device and follow the prompts. Stay calm. Follow these voice instructions. Make sure 911 is called now. Tear open foil package across dotted line and remove pads. 
Next, separate one of the white pads completely from blue plastic liner. Begin peeling from the tabbed corner. Firmly place the pad without the liner on the patient exactly as illustrated. This pad can be placed on either of the two locations shown. Next, peel the blue plastic liner off of the second white pad. Firmly place the second pad on the opposite location exactly as illustrated. Do not touch patient. Analyzing heart rhythm. Please wait. Do not touch patient. Analyzing heart rhythm. Please wait. Preparing shock. Move away from the patient. Shock will be delivered in 3, 2, 1. Shock delivered. It is now safe to touch the patient. A fully automatic device will indicate the need for shock and then deliver the shock itself. You should give one shock followed immediately by two minutes of CPR. The AED will then reanalyze the rhythm and advise how to proceed. Repeat this process until EMS personnel arrive and take over. Familiarize yourself with the operation of any specific AED that you will be using so you recognize its prompts and can check or correct unexpected messages. No shock advised. A no shock advised prompt means the AED was not able to detect a shockable rhythm. Continue CPR if needed. Motion detected. A motion detected prompt means you need to check that no one is touching the victim and that the victim is still unresponsive and not breathing. Check pads for good contact. Check that the cable is solidly attached to the AED and that the electrode pads are securely attached to the victim. If the electrodes are in place, and the AED voice prompts indicate a problem with electrode placement, hair may be getting in the way of direct contact between the electrodes and chest wall. Use a razor to quickly shave the hair in the area of the pads. Using an AED requires awareness of some special issues so you can take appropriate action and precautions. This segment of the program will discuss using AEDs around water, the age of the victim, trauma, victims wearing medication patches, and implanted defibrillators or pacemakers. Whenever water is near a victim of cardiac arrest, quickly move the victim away from standing water, dry the chest, and apply the electrode pads. With the chest dry and the pads firmly attached to the chest, the device can be used without risk of shock to the rescuer. Cardiac arrest in children is rare and is usually caused by an airway obstruction or breathing problem. AEDs can safely be used on adults, children, or infants. If your device has special pediatric pads, use them. If these pads are not available, you can still use the adult pads. Irregular cardiac rhythms like V-fib or V-tag are rarely present in cardiac arrest from trauma. Trauma victims need immediate transport to a trauma center. Cardiac arrest in trauma victims is not usually associated with the kind of heart rhythm that would be helped by an AED. When in doubt, it's better to use the AED than not use the AED. No harm will come from using it. But it would be highly unusual for a trauma victim to be saved by the device, unless the original cause of the trauma was a sudden cardiac event. Before attaching the AED electrode pads, remove any medication patches and wipe the skin clean. When exposing the chest, if you notice an implanted device, like a pacemaker or a defibrillator, apply the pads around the implant whenever possible. Although, modern pacemakers can withstand the shock from an AED without problems. Periodic inspection of your AED ensures it is working and that you'll have the appropriate supplies whenever you need to respond to a cardiac emergency. Be sure your supplies include a spare unexpired battery, electrode pads with unexpired dates,
a razor for shaving a victim's chest hair to attach electrode pads. and a towel to dry the chest if necessary. Check with the unit's manufacturer for specific AED maintenance requirements.